So pretty much on the news, you usually see like these electric vehicles are dropping prices, but it's not what you think. They're dropping prices because people now want to buy these vehicles because, well, the prices are cheaper, but that's the exact opposite. Many of these car manufacturers that make electric vehicles are dropping the prices because nobody is buying what they're selling. That's the reason why for these gas powered vehicles too, they're dropping prices of these because, well, guess what? Nobody wants to buy those vehicles. They want to get something better. And, you know, I say electric vehicles are not the way to go because they are a lot more maintenance heavy, cost heavy, and it's very dirty if you think about it, you know, how much money you're gonna spend and how much lithium it contains and how much that stuff you're gonna mine. All that stuff alone will have cost you a hefty amount of fine if you buy an electric vehicle. Take lithium mining, for example, it's the most dirtiest element you can ever think. Lithium mining, like most metals, is considered a dirty business. Take 2016, for example, Top 10 mining companies emitted 201.3 metric tons of carbon dioxide for lithium mining. Not very green, isn't it, for our electric vehicles to just lithium mine and put them in batteries. And like I said, there's a danger to why electric vehicles are bad because they explode. Once lithium ignites, they spread and explodes. They catch on fire and it takes a lot, a lot of water takes thousands of gallons of water to take these electric vehicles out even though they are they burn pretty fast but it takes a lot of water because once they things spread they spread and electrocution too that can also lead to fires you know because a lot of the volts electricity and it gets to the wires and then and you, yeah you can electrocute yourself with an electric vehicle leakage of electrolyte chemicals from batteries not very green there um, there's negatives to electric vehicles. Lack of power. They have a limited range and they're very sensitive to the cold weather. You know, cold weather, they use a lot of electricity to power up their heaters because they don't have engines to keep them warm. Well, they don't have engines, so they use a lot of electricity for and they use a lot of heat. That's how you get a heater in an electric vehicle because of all that electricity. And that lowers your range. Your driving habits in an electric vehicle, you floor it, your range goes down. Um, EVs cause pollution and e-waste. They're big and heavy. Yeah, that's true, because the whole weight is the battery. Trade-offs, advantages and disadvantages of electric vehicles. You know, how much money that you're gonna consume while trading or selling your electric vehicle or buying them used, you know? And guess what, the infrastructure too. The infrastructure, we don't have that much money for an infrastructure to put many of these electric vehicles if the future was everything went full electric and that's why the california for example by 2035 they're banning the sale of gas powered vehicles because of these strict emission standards which I, that alone is pretty stupid because you're spending a lot of money for by the government saying well you're gonna get a strict emission standard for a smog test and you should spend a lot of money on that uh, check your car's emissions. If it, if it doesn't pass, you'll get rid of your vehicle because if it doesn't pass that. And, you know, there's like 40 states that don't do it. My state doesn't do it. You know, Tennessee doesn't do it. But California, I think mean, parts of Florida or whatever, that like does these strict emission standards that do it because there's so many cars in that state that uses up a lot of that pollution, even though, yeah, I mean, still... There's a way to can really control that, but electric vehicles is not the way to go because they cause a lot more pollution than you think. You know that's why, you know that's why nobody is buying these electric vehicles. That's why their prices are going down because nobody wants to buy their electric vehicles. But anyway, that's kind of a little quick rant about electric vehicles right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can email me your car questions. I'll happily answer them by using my email address. Chris T. Clark 09 at gmail.com and email me your car questions. I'll make a separate video answering your car questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.